Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is September the 3rd. And the local time right now in Denver is 1.10 p.m. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, today the 3rd and tomorrow are my days off. So per usual, I picked up a turn. So guys, today I am going to airport code MSN, which is Madison, Wisconsin. So again, this is something that I picked up on my days off. So guys, let me give you the specs for this trip. So number one, guys, my position, um, I will be the position that is heard and not seen. So I have quite a few announcements. Um, so I need to get prepared for that because you guys know I take my, seri my uh, speaking voice very serious. Okay, so credit hours. Four hours and 37 minutes. Uh, time away from base, six hours and 57 minutes. So not too bad with the credit hours, but it's just a simple turn to Madison and then I'll be coming right back to Denver. All right, so this is one of the new wigs that I purchased, guys. Um, it has to grow on me. It's supposed to be like a natural looking wig, but I'm really not feeling it. So let me show you which one I have on. All right, so this is Kiara. And then you can see what it says here in the back. So it's supposed to be a natural wig. I don't really like the texture. It's a little bit coarse. It's supposed to mimic African-American hair. So I like the curls, but I don't know. I put pressing powder on the part. I don't wear the lace, but maybe it has to grow me. So we'll see. Um, but I got this again from wigtypes.com. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth. Uh, my check-in time for my trip, guys, was 1.16. I've already checked in. My gate is on the other side. Um, so I had time today because me and another crash pad mate drove in. He dropped me off and he parked the car. Um, so I went to the sea concourse, got a slice of pizza, and then I got my drink with that cup of ice. So I'm all set to go. But let me show you guys because it's a little bit of activity. So I'm facing the other side where gates go to A55. So let me show you. So some of these gates are American Airline. And then there's a couple of gates that's with my airline. But there's a lot of people here waiting for flights, which is pretty good, guys. Okay, and then there's my stuff. My Starbucks, my slice of, slice of pizza. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, so I'm pretty much uh, set for this trip. Again, my gate is on the other side. Um, but I have to do a side note. Did you guys see the versus battle with Brandy and Monica? What did you guys think? I mean, I was expecting a little bit more umph. It just felt like two people who were uncomfortable. And I know they were trying to social distance, but nobody had a mask on. If you were really concerned about that, you would have wore a mask. But I will say one thing, Brandy's vocals are everything. I grew up in the 90s, you know, I was born in 1982. So both of those girls, they had, or sorry, both of those women, they had songs that reflected my life at the time. And they're still classics, they still have bangers. And for me, it's like we live in the 90s. I think I am team Brandy because I also grew up, you know, watching her on Thea, Moesha. I remember when, uh, Kobe Bryant took her to his prom. I remember when she was dating, you know, Wanye Morris. I used to be so jealous. That song, Broken Hearted. I remember the video she did with Mace. I thought she was dating him. So, I mean, I love Brandy. Brandy's my girl all day. I personally think she can outsang Monica, but Monica, she has vocals too. So that's just my personal opinion. But that was a very good battle as far as the music. 
uh, just the chemistry was a little bit off. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But this is the look today, guys. Green eyeshadow. And then, you know, I got red, I guess a transition shade. I don't know what you want to call that, but something red. So, with my eyelashes. But this is the look I'm going for today. Um, not too much going on, guys, with my life. Um, I'm just really trying to pick up flights and make money in the month of September. Uh, because you guys know September 11th. It's my one year anniversary of my IOE, which is Initial Operating Experience. I think that's what IOE stands for. Um, but I graduated on the 28th and that was my flight after I graduated. Um, so I look forward to that. I might do a reaction video to my IOE, um, but there's not that many trips guys to pick up. Trips are kind of scarce. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's looking kind of shaky. So I don't know what's gonna happen going forward, but any opportunity I get to pick up or to aggressively bid, you know I'm gonna do it. And even these times, I think it's even more, it's much needed if I wanna have a good paycheck, guys. Uh, I do look forward for my paycheck on the 5th of this month. Uh, because my raise should be reflected so I will see the difference in as far as me working and that raise how much more I will get my paycheck so we'll see but all right it's 116 so guys I'm going going to go ahead and head to my gate so I will be with you guys when I head down that jet bridge so stay tuned but first leg Madison Wisconsin oh really <laughs> All right, guys, uh, heading down that jet bridge now, finally. And you know what I have to do? Safety checks, pre-flight requirements, and as soon as I land in Madison, I'll be with you guys. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I am in Madison. I stepped off to use the restroom. Local time right now is 5.26. We're going to be boarding. So the flight time, Denver to Madison, hour 35. We are on a Spaceflex A320. 31 rows of seats. Passenger capacity, 186. Don't know the lows going back, but again, this may not be a popular route. This is the outside here. So it's sunny in Madison. All right guys, but yeah, um, so pretty good flight. Didn't have really too many issues guys, but we're about to board. So I'll be with you when I land in Denver. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I made it safely back to the airport. Right now guys, the local time is 8.44 p.m. So guys, I'm in the crash pad car. I'm actually at the gas station by the airport. Um, I stopped here to use the restroom and I also got me something to eat. So I got some, yeah, some stuff I should not be eating. But, you know, I get paid uh, hmm, tomorrow. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I need to go to the grocery store. I will do it tomorrow. I'm just not going to do it right now, guys. But um, I just wanted to come to you guys with a bit of an update. So you guys know my per usual, okay? I am going to go to the crash pad. Ooh, and I am going to wrap up this vlog. The AC in this car does not work. And I'm just discovering this. So I have this mask on, guys, because I just came out of the store. You gotta have a mask on. See there's a see there's a store here. The little gas station. Right here by the airport. I've came here a few times to put, you know, gas in the cars. But anyways, that's why I have my mask on. So let me get my tail to the crash pad so I could do a little wrap up, guys. But yeah, stay tuned. Almost over with, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I am uh, back at the crash pad. Now, what is the local time? 9.22 p.m. All right, so let's talk about the flight. Uh, so the flight time, 
from Madison back to Denver was two hours and four minutes. Could be the tailwind. It was an hour 35 going to Madison, but more time coming back. Um, flight loads for both. Guys, we were a little over halfway full. So I don't think Madison is a real popular route, but nevertheless, people were flying and therefore I was flying. So I'm very grateful for that. And again, I just wanna reiterate, we were on the A320 Space Flex, 31 rows of seats, okay? Uh, 186 uh, passengers max capacity, okay? So I worked with a really good crew. I wasn't the um, most junior. There was someone who graduated in March. So, I mean, it's always good to not be the bottom, but at the same time, she knew her stuff. I don't really correct people unless they're doing something that is a safety related matter then i will have to interject and kind of say hey slow down you're not doing that correctly so other than that really good crew um didn't have really many issues i think the only major issue i had not even major is people playing musical chairs i think there's a misconception that when you are on the aircraft if you do not have somebody in the exit row you cannot leave without having somebody there no let me correct you you can that is the reason why flight attendants are there because we know how to open and operate the exit door now if somebody should be sitting there then it's a whole nother conversation we have to brief you on the exit door and how to operate it and you got to look at that safety information card but just to clear it up guys any airplane that you are on, if you do not have somebody in the exit row, they can still leave without having somebody. I had several people say, I volunteer to sit in the exit row. Oh, no worries. We don't need anybody in the exit row. Really? You can leave? Yes. Yes, sir. Really? We don't need a body there in the exit row. That is the reason why I went to training and other flight attendants and we sacrificed our time, uh, sleep, you know, man, edges, hair loss, whatever you want to call it. That is the reason why, guys, because our priority is safety first. So no, no need to worry. You can leave without having somebody in the exit row. Yeah, so pretty good flight. Um, again, I stopped at that gas station. So this is what's for dinner tonight. Side note, this is all unhealthy, but one day I'll get it right. So I got this little, what? barbecue sandwich y'all know I love my ruffles wanted something sweet so I got this you put it in the machine and then you select if you want it less thick more thick like the ice cream and this is Oreo cookie so I'm gonna really tear this up Ooh! and then it's so odd I got grapes too y'all see those grapes that's for tomorrow and I got another sandwich for tomorrow right there and then Doritos this would be for probably lunch so yeah guys, um, I need to go to the grocery store and it's so weird, I got paid tonight. I am very shocked. The check was pretty good. So again, I got a raise. Uh, I don't look at my pay stubs until probably towards the end of the month when I get that second check, but got paid a little early. So I was very surprised when I swiped my card. I saw a one. Now I was like, ooh, I knew I had $300 uh, dollars in my account. So I'm like, mm, how did it drop down to one? But when I saw one in a comma, I'm like, okay, she is a thousandaire again. Okay, so very excited about that. Um, but guys, tomorrow um, I am off. So I will probably, you know, be editing videos, catching up on shows, doing laundry, looking to try to bid because, again, for the month of September, four days on, two days off. Four days on, two days off. That is my schedule. And then at the end of the month, oh, it's the same thing. So with two days off, um, I can only pick up a turn. So I've been trying to pick up something, guys, so I can, you know, maximize my coins. Cause that's what I do. That is what I am all about. Um, but for some reason, passengers really love this wig. I think it looks the most natural. I mean, it's like I said, it's kind of kinky. Y'all can see how it. You know, like I said, I put pressing powder right here, but. If you feel it, it, it feels like a Brillo pad. It's kind of a little rough. But other than that, I kind of like the wig. It is growing on me. So I think I'm going to order another one of Kiara in the same color. You know, but 
Yeah, I mean, it looks like I curled my hair. I think that's what it is. I had so many compliments on this, and it's amazing, guys, how one wig can change your whole day. I'm telling you, people really love my hair. Of course, they wanted to touch my hair. I don't know what it is about that. There has to be some kind of rule. You know, you don't go around touching African American, you know, people's hair, but people want to touch. I let them touch. I tell them, hey, it's a wig. No need to lie. You know, but it looks so natural. People thought it grew out of my scalp. So I'm very, very impressed with this. I mean, kudos to wig types. You know, like I said, I look at reviews about wigs. So I mean, Kiera is right now, guys, this would be the wig until I get bored and do something else. But I am ranting and raving. So guys, I am going to end this vlog. I try to pick up a trip. I doubt if I get the trip. It was a two day trip at the end of the month, which I am good for. Cause again, four days on, two days off. Um, I'm good for it, but I doubt if I get it. Yeah, these trips are getting snatched. Like I said, like these edges y'all, that, just that quick, okay? But guys, if you have seen this turn to, again, airport code MSN, which is Madison, Wisconsin guys, do me a favor, if you like what you see, if you rock with me, subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, to my Ford Explorers, okay, new and old, I, I thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Again, it doesn't have to be monetary. Liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing guys is another form of support. So don't be thinking you gotta send money. It's helpful. It's greatly appreciated, but it is not needed. Just knowing you guys watch the video, you comment on certain parts of the video, lets me know how far you got. So it's little things like that that means more to me. You see what I'm saying? So I appreciate everyone for the support and the goal is to get to 2000. I'm almost there, all right? But once I get to 2000, I will be giving out $100. So y'all watch these videos because all the questions are gonna come from the vlog. So if you watch, you would know the answer but yeah that's about it guys uh i am signing off from the crash pad so again you guys have a good night and i'll see you on my next trip bye